everyone, if you are new to my email channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more notifications. Today we're going to learn about the principle of mathematical investigation, shortened as PMI. So what is PMI? It is one of the techniques which can be used to prove variety of mathematical statements which are formulated in terms of n where n is positive integer. So let us read together all the principles so that we are properly guided as we use the PMI in solving the different problems. So first is let p of n be a given statement involving the natural number n such that number 1 the statement is true for n equals to 1 example p of 1 is true or true for any fixed natural number. Number two, if the statement is true for n equals to k, where k is a particular but arbitrary natural number, then the statement is also true. Third, for n equals k plus 1, truth of p of k implies the truth of p of k plus 1. If this all principles met by the given problem, then we can tell that p of n is true for all natural numbers n. So let us apply the PMI with this given problem. Use the principle of mathematical induction to verify that for n any positive integer, 6 to the power of n minus 1 is divisible by 5. So meaning to say whatever the result here must be divisible by 5. So again, in, in proving using the mat principle of mathematical investigation, we're going to let the statement as P of n. Then right after that, the first step of PMI is to prove that P of 1 is true. Then we're going to use the equation 6 to the power of n minus 1. And then we're going to substitute the n by 1. So we know that 6 to the power of 1 is 6 minus 1 equals 5. So we have 6 to the power of 1 is 6 minus 1. Then 6 minus 1 is 5, which means that 5 is divisible by 5 times 1, which is divisible by 5. So here, P of 1 is true. Now let us have N as 2. So when the number of N increases, the number of terms is also increases. So this time, we have this new equation. 6 to the power of N minus 1 plus 6 to the power of N plus 1 minus 1 equals 5. How did we get it? So 6 to the power of N minus 1 is the P of 1, but we know that if we're going to change n by n plus 1, we have this new equation. Okay, so this time we're going to substitute everything by 1. So the n, so 6 to the power of 1 minus 1, 6 to the power of 1 plus 1 minus 1 equals 5. So we have here. So we know 1 plus 1 is 2. So 6 to the power of 1 is 6 minus 1, 6 to the power of 6, 36 minus 1. Then 6 minus 1 is 5. 36 minus 1 is 35 equals 5. Now, if we're going to add 5 plus 36, then we have 40. And we know 40 is divisible by 5 by multiplying 5 by 8. So, which means P of 2 is true since 40 is divisible by 5. So, this is now the step, first step in uh, solving the problem using PMI. So, let's move with the second step. Second step says that if the statement is true for n equals k, where k is a particular but arbitrary natural number, then the statement is also true. So meaning to say we're just saying that p of a is true. So we're going to change the n by k like this. Then consequently, we have the third step. For n equals to k plus 1, example, truth of p of k implies that the truth of p of k plus 1, it remains to show that p of k plus 1 holds. That is, we're going to add k plus 1. So we have 6 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 equals 5. So these are now the different numbers in order for us to prove this problem using the PMI. Okay, so let us now prove it. First thing to do is we're going to bring down the P of 1 and P of 2 because we are trying to get the sum of this and we'll give that the result which, which is also divisible by 5. Okay, so we're going to add this like that. So 6 to the power of k plus 1 minus 1 plus 6 to the power of k minus 1 equals the which is divisible by 5. 
So, how are we going to solve it? We know that 6 to the power of k minus 1 equals to 5 based on the P of 1 equation. So, we can substitute it or we can equate it as 5. Then, we know that we can factor out this equation as 6 times 6 to the power of k minus 1 plus 5. Then, bring down 5. So, how did we arrive with this factor out term? If we're going to multiply 6 to 6k or 6 to the power of k, we will have 6 to the power of 1, then this k plus 1, low of exponential. So, uh, we're going to retain 6, then other exponent. Then 6 times 1, or I mean negative 1 is negative 6, plus 5 is also negative 1. So, in this case, we're able to express that this is divisible by 5. And, of course, 5 plus 5 is 10. 6 to the power of k minus 1 is divisible by 5 as being stated here. 10 is also divisible by 5, meaning to say the first and the second terms are both divisible by 5, which means p of k plus 1 is true. So, this is how we solve the different problem using the PMI or the principle of mathematical investigation. Thank you and God bless everyone.